All right, new level. Because apparently the level ended there. So yeah, new level. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Well, let's go find the plasma in in the banana. Do you think um that this was really just aimed at a console release? Because the levels seem really small compared to uh, all the other levels of all the other Doom 3 things. All these levels so far have been quite small and uh, like there's only been like 50 minutes to beat pretty much all of them and maybe I've just started to play real fast like, which I doubt. Oh, this is fast. This is real fast, fast words like, but no, oh, scan. Yeah, maybe I just became like the super player who suddenly knows how to do everything in life, but I'm gonna say I doubt that. It's just gonna go on forever, isn't it? Yeah. This this okay. Well that was an exciting scan. Can I scan any more cool stuff? I'm looking forward to scanning some more things. I'm gonna quick save here because it's been like seconds. And I do enjoy myself a little screen. Uh this is awkward. Hey, you're making it even more awkward. That took some damage. I took some damage there. It was a bad decision to stand in front of the guy with the chain gun reloading. Turned out, turned out not to be a good idea. Who'd have thought? I thought it was a brilliant idea. I thought it was the smartest thing I could possibly do. But here we are. Turned out, not that smart at all. Look at how not smart it was. But it worked out. Cause I got some free health from this weird machine on the wall. How do you even extract health from a machine on the wall? I don't know, but I figured out a way. Made that number go up real good like and now I can get punched some more. Everything in life's gonna be a-okay. Oh no, another person is probably gonna use the wall machine, but I've already extracted most of its potential. So I had to kill him. It was a real shame, but it was the only way that we could have an even Steven. He had to die, so I could live. Long live society where this is possible. Thank you, world. What was that? It made like the adrenaline sound, so I'm gonna guess that that would refill my health to max, maybe? I don't know, but whatever. <laughs> it worked out. I, I'm at full health still. Um, probably should not pick that up until I... Okay, probably should not pick that up until I was damaged again, but I didn't didn't even know it was a power up to be honest. Didn't even know. Oh, can I do my scanning? Oh no. Okay then. It was exciting for a brief moment. Oh, this is a teleporter thing, isn't it? Yeah. Look, it looks like one of them teleporter thingies. Yeah. But I'm a little bit worried about the music going because the last time that meant that there were like the hell people. The hell guys were here being hellish and it was bad. All right, so what are we doing here? I, I'm probably extracting like a plasma jim jam jimble jambles. Oh, that was the plasma jimble jambles. Oh no, it's you, not you again. Uh, where's my where's my rocket launcher or whatever grenades? Uh, I'm pretty safe here, I think. Oh. Yeah. That was an exciting battle. That was truly not. Oh, sorry. I'm just quick saving through your dialogue. Could I not just walk back from where I came? Because that was not a long road. Like that. That seems a lot more sensible since all the enemies there are dead as well. You know. Can, can I do? No. All right. Cool. Thanks. That's fine. I guess. That, whatever. Yeah. No, good strats. Glad we're on the same page in terms of strategies here. Because, uh... My god. Wouldn't want to use the safe route, now do I? No. Let's use the route that's completely uncleared of death. Yeah. Good. It's a good thing you're the doctor and I'm the person who has to deal with all of this. Because otherwise we'd never get out of here. God. Filthy bastards. I'm going in there. When there's a dude... There's a thing. Now look at that. Things. Isn't it beautiful? I found them. All by myself. Can't get out of here anymore. Gonna become one of them skeleton people like he was. But all in all, it was a pretty good day. Pretty good day. Pretty good night. 
Go shoot that guy. Go shoot that guy. At least they've stopped pretending to be zombies. Like, now they just come out of the ceiling. But at least they've stopped pretending to be zombies. Because that was really starting to, like, rub me the wrong way in many ways. In many ways, I felt rubbed wrongly. And it was really starting to bother me. I mean, that guy, I guess, still... I mean, they sort of still try. They're, st they're trying a new thing. They're just trying to stand behind every closed door now, but... I still think I prefer this. Oh, maintenance hatch. Oh, no, it's a zombie. Oh, it's an actual person. You think he's okay? I think he's still fine. He said no, 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 which could mean anything. I think he means, like, oh, there's maybe... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm nudging him a bit. I don't think he's okay anymore. I think something happened to him down there. I'm gonna investigate. I, I gave him some rubber bullets. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm shooting. This is just a paintball game, isn't it? Like Doom 3 paintball version? Edition? Paintball version edition? I'm pretty sure that's what I'm playing. And, um... Yeah. Pretty sure he was, uh, not doing too good. Travis Folsom? Why wasn't he carrying his PDA? He could have had valuable information. That I have now missed. That seems pretty terrible, pretty spooky. That don't look good. Okay then. Oh no, it's uh, Mr. Chainman Gunman. Na, 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 na. But I had the strongest weapon, which is generic marine weapon. And let me tell you, he was not ready for that one right there. And I took him down like it was nothing. Gonna shoot every one of you bastards because I don't trust anyone. Just gonna make your corpse disappear in case this is actually nightmare difficulty on the old Doom games where everyone respawned. I don't think anyone ever played that difficulty except for like the like super speed runny people, but Okay, didn't expect it to be lowered, but sure I guess what why not? Why not lower it, right? I mean it did say lower lift, but I didn't think it would be so literal about the whole thing. But lower lift, that means like lower forward. <laughs> you know, like signs often mean things and then say something completely different. That's what, it's people like me that it says may contain nuts on a bag of peanuts and something like that. Because my God, I, I, I clearly am incapable <laughs> of reading. It, it, it just won't work out otherwise. Like peanuts, hmm, oh, it contains nuts. I understand now, I get you, I get you. Can you, like, be dead? Alright, cool. I shot a lot of bullets at you. You know how expensive these bullets are? I gotta find these. Oh. Oxygen. Was not aware. Very much not aware. Yeah. Okay, then. Another thing. Which, uh... Would be good for people like me. Is bigger UI things. <laughs> because I... I don't see anything. I, 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 I don't, I've had this with every Doom game, I think. Except for maybe, like, Resurrection of Evil. Because there's just nothing to look at in that game. But with Doom 3, whenever there's something on a monitor, I just miss it. it, it I, there might be a switch that just says, go to destination and win the game. And I'll be like, oh, there's a button there that says up. I'm going to press the up button to go up. Because that's probably where I have to go. And... Same with oxygen meters. I, I didn't even see it. Didn't even know it was there. Then it auto save. It scared me more than any of the enemies so far have. And, uh, yeah. I don't know what it is. I wonder if it's just me or if it really is just that small. Yeah, that's pretty normal. What happens if the door closes? Does it close with the chain gun? No, no, it doesn't. Look at that. Cool. Technology. But, yeah, I've, I've had it with, with Doom 3 since the beginning of time. And,. Even though many years have passed between just playing regular Doom 3 and and this. Still remember it. <laughs> still remember it and still facing the same difficulties with the UI. Even with an updated UI. With an updated UI, I still don't see anything. Still don't see a thing. Jump by accident again. 805 and 806. Oh no, it's ahead. Still wonder, how does this work? You know? How, how does that work? At that point, I think you can be safely called a demon because he's clearly not thinking with his brain. His brain's gone. 
brain's no longer part of his body. His person. Not neither with that guy. So do you think he's demonic? Do you think that he's demonic Zams? Probably. There's a lot of them. I'll open those things in a second. There probably is like a thing here. Or maybe I already have the thing. Who knows? That's a... Okay. I was gonna say that's a chair, but then it went through the floor, so I don't even know. Maybe it was a demon. A demonic chair. Didn't see that one coming, did you? Didn't think even the chairs were haunted by the past. And yeah, he's eating torsos. Hey, friend. May I investigate your torso eating times? No? Yes? What you eating there, friend? Oh, my favorite foot. I got an achievement just now, I guess. Uh, which might mean I've actually picked up every PDA in the expansion. It's called Lost Collector. So that gives me a hunch and a gunch. Hunch and a gunch that I might have done exactly that. Is my hunch and a gunch correct or is my hunch and a gunch wrong? Time will tell. Time will tell, indeed. How do I get there? There appears to be a armor shard and some rockets. Is, is this something I even need to get into? Oh, no, I can just grab him. I can just grab him with my grabber. I always forget it exists after all, but it's there. It's a per it's a presence in me life. Oh, I'm going to get rid of both of yous. Oh. I can only get rid of one of you at a time, but in the end, I got rid of both of yous like I promised. Dumb employees, that's uh, nope. Exist. Uh, you're gonna make me listen to things again? It's so boring to listen to all of you. Retire cash free. You have just won the grand prize. Uh, okay. I click it. There we go. Special weather. Blah, 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 blah. Oh my god, you're really gonna make me listen. You're not gonna. You're not. You got two audio. Oh, God. Do I even want this anymore? Oh, bleh. Like, all the dialogue in this game is just not necessary. It doesn't add to the experience. It just says where I have to go or that spacesuits were hired. Also, the storage locker coders. Blah, 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 blah. Like, that's that's pretty much what it's been so far. It's, it's just been a long rant about spacesuits. And then three things like. Oh yeah, by the way, we got some new lockers in the code is this. And it's just like, uh, All right, thanks, man. <laughs> I'm not sh uh, Whatever, I'm gonna listen to them. I'm not even gonna show you guys because it's stupid. <laughs> Apparently codes 372, look at that. Isn't that just lovely? What we got? We got shotguns. There we, we got some computer parts. Thanks, gang. I don't even want this. Just leave it. <laughs> I don't even want your... Tainted things. I don't desire your stuff. Listen to many audio logs. I heard someone die, which was kind of like that, actually. Pretty similar to that. But it was a little bit more spooky. And it was just all around a little bit of a little bit nasty. So preferably don't want to deal with that again. Oh, he just died to the nothing monster then, did he? Because apparently there's nothing actually here to simulate a real threat. I mean, he, he flew here. He flew at the wall. And at that point, I, I am given an expectation that mayhaps there is someone here. But no. I guess he just launched himself at the wall. And upon that happenstance, he decided uh, the, the monsters were like, hey, maybe we should go to that place with the dude flying. Maybe he can teach us a thing or two about hitting. That guy was probably his apprentice. He learned everything from that guy who just flew. And here we are today. Here we are today. I was trying to find this. Because I lost some health and I got worried. But here we are. In fly land. Where everyone can apparently fly. And it worries me. Because I can't. Look at how slow these projectiles are. Oh my god. Kind of adorable really. Like, my projectiles are, like, they're trying. They're definitely trying. They probably deal damage. Just, they might as well be me melee weapons at this point. Why not just give me a lightsaber? I think that would work. I think a lightsaber would actually help out a fair bit in this game. And uh, I hope one day to get one of me on. Okay, then. Axis stare. Just one. Let's go. 
It, t t that's more than one stair. Those are stairs I have been lied to. I'm going to file a formal complaint to the management. But the management has become demonic. And even decides to mislabel doors. Truly evil has launched itself into the world when it's calling stairs stare. Truly, a more punishable crime has never been committed. And I am lost, lost and confused in this horrendous world that we find ourselves in this day. This horrendous world. Okay then. How's it going, friend? Hey, you're dealing a large quantity of damage. But I have a double-barreled shotgun. And that is the end of that. Now, are there going to be any more of you, silly people? Trying to be spooky to me? No, didn't think so. Hello. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay then, friend. You, uh, you just ignore me then. I'll just put the thing in. Excellent. You're back. The inducer is working perfectly. And the teleporter is ready for transport. Here's the situation. Oh. There's a teleporter outpost in the other dimension. And it's still operational. It's very powerful. And it has a range that could lead those demons all the way to Earth. I would disable it myself. But it requires two people to do it. One person at the outpost to initiate the teleporter. And another person here to transmit a power search to destroy it. I know it's a lot to ask, but you'll need to go to the other dimension, find the remote outpost, and initiate the startup sequence. You're our only hope of defeating this evil. I've got the teleporter ready to go. All you need to do is go into the chamber and initiate the sequence. I'll handle the rest from here. But before you go, I want to give you my personal account of what happened here. It explains everything. The advanced teleporter, how the madness started, Everything. It's over there on the console. Please take it. Good. The world needs to know the truth. And good luck. Alright, cool. Yeah. Uh, I'll listen to that in a place where it's a bit more quiet. I hope that's fine. I'm just gonna quick save in this red place. And uh, teleport myself to hell. What do you think the odds are of us coming back? All right, yeah, no worries. I'll just do that real quick. Hang on one moment, though. There's a big blue door here. Okay. I investigated the big blue door. I don't think there's evil there. Let's do this. Another quick save, just in case. I got scared. Do I need to be in the middle? Sir? Oh. Oh, this is not nice at all. I'm in hell now. Once again. Yep, this is nice. This is exactly what I imagined a portal to hell would look like, wouldn't it? Yep, we're going. Okay, we're not going back. Well, it seems like a good time to take a break, I think. Not quite ready for hell just yet. There's this. <laughs> There's a skull <laughs> that cries lava there, so, uh. Yeah, that's a bit too hardcore for me, as you can probably understand. Hope you guys enjoyed it so far. Next time we play, we're going to be in hell for a bit, I guess. Bye!